29-year-old Ravi Panteria asked for $100,000 bail when he faced a judge here today. He also asked to go home to the house he shared with his parents, including the father he's accused of murdering. There were cars in the driveway of that Westminster home today, and there were people inside, but they were not ready to talk about what happened here. This, according to detectives, is where the victim, 58-year-old Magan Bai Pantaria, lived with his wife and their adult son, Ravi, until Sunday, that is, because that's when Carroll County Sheriff's deputies say 29-year-old Ravi murdered his 58-year-old father, dismembered the body using a hatchet he bought that morning at Walmart, wrapped it in multiple blankets and a runner style rug from the laundry room, and then dumped it on the shoulder of Medford Road at Route 31. Quote, the victim was found with 38 stab wounds. A prosecutor told the judge during today's bail hearing, quote, this was a vicious, brutal killing. Then there was an attempt to clean it up and there doesn't appear to be anything that set the defendant off, which is troubling. The prosecutor also told the judge when the elder Panteria didn't come home from work Sunday night, his wife reported him missing, and those responding deputies reported signs of foul play throughout the house, including blood, human tissue, and hair found in a bathroom, in the garage, on numerous tools, including that hatchet, and on the truck driven by the defendant and parked in the driveway Sunday night. In that same driveway today, a family spokesman told 11 News, quote, the family is in shock and grief and we'd like some space to gather ourselves. His attorney in court here today said the defendant is the general manager of a hotel in historic Frederick with seven years on the job. The state said the defendant is a flight risk who had a bag full of IDs and social security cards. But the judge said she is more disturbed by the fact that he's accused of such brutal acts and committing them seemingly without provocation. Then she ordered him held without bail. Reporting live from Westminster tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News.